Hi guys, so I'm back with another video. Today we are on day 7 of week 3, so it's the last day of week 3 and for tonight we are cooking um, breaded prawns for dinner. The recipe doesn't call for any starch or any vegetables whatsoever. So what I will do, I will just add my own choice of vegetable and starch to, um, to the prawns. But first, let me tell you about the prawns. So, you're going to need you're going to need breadcrumbs, gluten-free breadcrumbs. And as you know, I've told you so many times that I don't have, I cannot find gluten-free breadcrumbs. I even went on iHerb to find gluten-free breadcrumbs, but I just couldn't find it. There's no breadcrumbs or gluten-free breadcrumbs on iHerb. So, what did I do? I actually read the first part of this there's a written section under each recipe so I read that part and she said you can actually just take gluten-free bread she's like get rid of the the crust and let it sit overnight and then the next day I think you're going to put it in your blender and pulse it so I didn't do that what I did, I had gluten-free buns because it's also very difficult for me to find gluten-free bread here. So I had the buns and I put them in my oven and I toasted it until it's quite dry and hard, so to speak. Then I took it out and I let it sit um, on the counter on a grid and after maybe an hour or so I broke it apart and I put it in my blender and I pulsed it and so this is the result that I got and I'm very happy with my crumbs it came out really well so these are the crumbs we're going to use you're gonna need one cup of crumbs and your prawns and just lightly salt it you also I think she said sprinkle thyme over you know I don't like thyme so I'm not gonna use mustard and thyme and those kind of things that she suggests it's probably just for flavor i'm simply just going to use the salt and my two eggs that i whisk and that's about it so let's start coating the the prawns with the breadcrumbs and the eggs in my oven i'm going to warm up my oven so long on 350 degrees Fahrenheit you need a baking sheet of course she never calls for the baking sheet to be oiled but I always oil my my baking sheet although it is non-stick I'm just very careful so I believe first in the egg right then in the breadcrumbs and then in your pan so I'm just going to throw a whole bunch of them here in my egg mixture. You know how I hate this process because it has to do with a messy situation that I do not fancy. So I have about 14 small prawns here or medium size if you will. They're quite small, in my opinion. So as you can see, we basically used most of the breadcrumbs. It's just a couple of breadcrumbs. And I used 14 prawns here, and it's done. So next I will do, I will um, coat my husband's prawns. His prawns I seasoned with salt and pepper and garlic powder and also onion powder, the things he likes, and now I'm going to prepare it for him in normal breadcrumbs. Okay, so I'll do the same. The store-bought breadcrumbs is so much better actually than the ones that I actually made. It just takes better to the, to the egg. It doesn't clump as much as my one. But I think if I had to make my breadcrumbs yesterday already, it would have dried out even more and it would have been much better. All right, and now simply we're going to put them in the oven. 
and I will check the oven every 10 minutes just to turn it if it's brown um, so that's about it for our breadcrumbs so what we will serve it with I made some fish cakes prawn fish cakes for my husband yesterday or for us as a whole so I basically took the recipe that's in in the diet and I just improvised a little so I took probably 300 or 400 grams of prawns and I took probably 400 or 500 grams of white fish the white fish that I told you my husband caught so I took that and I just cut it up really small and then I pulsed it in my blender and then we made the prawn fish cakes and they're quite lovely you should try it with these recipes you can really improvise and just make it even better for your family you c I would say you can also add breadcrumbs to to make it more to um, to get more out of your buck if you have a bigger family well yeah if you like breadcrumbs in your in your prawn fish cakes you can do that you can also add chilies you can add your own spices but just for the sake of this diet I cannot eat those things because it's irritants to my um, both my IBS and also my acid reflux so on that note maybe we will come back to you when we have dinner to taste the prawns I don't know I'm not sure I kind of find it boring to come back and taste um, because sometimes filming is just draining especially after a whole day of work so once I'm finished with the cooking I just want to be done with filming but let's see how I feel hopefully you get lucky so but on that note thank you for watching share subscribe like especially share with your family as I always say and I hope you got value out of this video thank you again here is the end results of our breaded prawns on this side is the ones um, that's made with the gluten-free breadcrumbs and on this side is the gluten breadcrumbs we shall taste and see what it really tastes like so stay tuned Be back with the final result as I just showed you and we are going to taste our our prawns now so we served it with rice I have brown rice he has normal white rice with our prawn fish cake and some carrot sticks because she does mention in the recipe to serve it with carrot sticks so you can probably make a tartar sauce the one that she recommends in one of her recipes with this but I didn't um, still go through all that trouble. So let's see what it tastes like. Why, why are you looking at me? No, I'm just, because yours is the one with the gluten-free bread. Mm. I'm just wondering what that tastes like. The prawns is nice, but the gluten-free bread does give it somewhat of a different taste. Can you take one and taste it, my love? Let's take that one. It's good though. It is? Hmm. Let me like taste it. one of yours. I know it has a lot of things that I should not, I'm not supposed to have. Now what I get with this prawns is more, with this breadcrumbs is more the flavor actually of the prawn in my opinion. Whereas with the gluten free breadcrumbs you don't get the flavor of the prawn so much. Or maybe it's also because there is onion powder and and garlic powder over this. Maybe that's what brings out the taste of the prawn. Well, it's good. Either way. Mm. So on that note, thanks for watching. Once again, if you got value out of this video, subscribe, like, share with your friends and family. And spread the news about this lovely diet that can heal your gut. Guys, so I forgot to mention the fish cakes, remember, or the prawn cakes. Remember the last time I made it? I made it with um, prawns and crabs.
so it was like more of a crab cake oh it was more of a prawn cake because I used more prawns than crabs in any case but yeah and then I tasted that for you and this time around I used prawns and like I said to you the white fish that my husband caught and um, it's quite lovely so what do you think what's your take on it so it's kind of like the uh, fish cakes that you can get in Japan um, but it's not as sweet so there's no sweet texture to it but yeah it's really good no comparison there's a sweetness to it no I'm saying the one in Japan has a sweetness to it well this one does not it does not no. so guys try out this this recipe with the prawns and the fish cakes I mean the fish fish cakes sorry with the prawns and the fish um, you can use any white fish and you can probably use more fish but like I said I used about 400 400 grams of prawns so I think your fish and your prawns should be equal um, and see if you can get like a really good result as well I'm very proud my husband said it came out like the it tastes like the Japanese fish cakes mm, it does. but without the sweetness so they must put something sweet in it and like I told you you can make it spicy if you want you can make it mild whatever flavor you want to put in you can do so um, but this is not part of the diet this is outside the diet if you want to make it part of the diet just sprinkle a little salt over and that's it do not add any other spices if you're going to make it part of the diet because at the moment I just sprinkled salt over and that was it thank you for watching till next time